All right, so here we are on Lesson 19, Day 2. All right, so we're still working with unit price and related measurement conversions, but now today we're just going to add one new little part in. So first, same thing as yesterday, I'm going to, I want you to pause the video and copy down the graphs into your notes, and then press play and we will go through the examples. Alright, so example one says to find the rate who was the fastest. So we have a table, we have a graph, and then down here for Olivia we have an equation. Okay, so first we're going to look at the table. So remember for the table, seconds if we look at the graph is x and the math facts is y. Before we get started though, I want you to write at the top above the graph, write yourself a little note, a little note just like we did yesterday, that rate is always y over x. Okay, this is very important. Please make sure you have that down. So if we're looking at the table here, we're trying to find the rate for carry. So we are going to do math over seconds. All right, for here I'm going to do the standard algorithm. So it says that carry can do 20 math facts in 5 seconds. So we want to know how many she can do in 1 second. So to get to one second, we would divide by five on the bottom. So we're going to divide by five on the top. So that means she can do four facts in one second. All right. So now if we look at Holly on the graph here, I'm going to do Holly in blue. So we're still comparing math and we are comparing seconds. So in the first part, if we look at that first point, it already tells us how much she can do in one second. If we look at the graph, that first point is at one and then five math facts. So she can do five math facts in one second. And then our last person here, we have Olivia. So this is the new part of today. So we have M equals 5T, where M represents the math facts and T represents time. Okay, so if we're looking at this, this 5t here, write yourself a little note, this is the unit rate. So this means that she can do 5 math facts in 1 second. Okay, so if we compare all three of these, we can see that both Holly and Olivia can work at the same rate. So we would say then that Holly and Olivia are the fastest. And then we can say they can do five facts in one second. All right, so that's the first example. We just have one more now on the back page, kind of similar. So it says to find the rate and it's asking who's making more money. So we have Kevin, Dan, and Aaron. So I'm gonna do Kevin in purple here. So we are comparing hours to money. Remember money always goes on top. Then we're gonna put hours on the bottom. And again, if we look at the graph, hours is x and money is y, and rate is always y over x. So if we look here, it says that in three hours, Kevin can make $31.50. So we want to know how much Kevin makes in one hour. So that means we would divide by three on the bottom and on the top. So in your calculator, if you do 31.50, divided by 3, you get 10.50, so that means that Kevin makes $10.50 in one hour. All right, now if we look at Dan, who I'm going to do in blue, same thing, we are comparing money to hours. All right, so if we look at the first point in two hours, Dan makes $20. So if we're looking for one hour, that means we're dividing by two on the bottom and on the top. So that means that Dan makes $10 in 
in one hour. And then down here for Aaron, we have our equation. So we have M equals 1150T, where M represents money and T represents time. So again, we're looking at this 11.5T, okay? And that means um, $11.50 per one hour, okay? Right, because this is what the fraction would be if we had 11.5 over 1 would just be 11.5, which is what they have in the equation. So if we compare all three of these rates, we can see that Aaron is making the most money per hour. All right. And that's all for this. So that only new part is the equation part. So if you have any questions, just bring those to class tomorrow and we will work on some more examples.